for the past 24 hours, the situation has been wilder than Johnny Sin's movies, okay? Seriously, we got Gold chiming in. We also got Keemstar responding as well, which I will actually play uh, for you in just a second. And Dr. Disrespect himself has also now responded once again. Roll it. Guys, we're here. So right now, there is a very serious situation involving the streamer Dr. Disrespect. If you've been on social media over the past 24 hours, I'm sure you've seen his name popping up all over yeah. the place. So since his ban from Twitch back in 2020, a lot of people were trying to understand the reason for that ban. People were making all kinds of guesses, and now we're seeing a very serious claim from yeah. a former Twitch employee who is now alleging the reason he was banned. And, and right now, a lot of people are also saying this ex-Twitch employee has, like, personal beef. Back in 2020 on Twitch was because he was caught sexting a minor and attempting to meet up with that minor at TwitchCon. Now, this is an incredibly serious set of allegations. Yeah. Life ruining allegations if true and mm, a lot of people are true. digging into this and really right now the biggest thing is a lot of questions that are coming yeah. out of this that need to be answered. everybody's trying to be a detective right now everybody got their like detective cap on and they're like yeah man i'm a detective i'm a detective so the reddit investigators are there twitter detectives are out there and everybody already knows what, what happened you know what i'm saying everybody already knows what happened so crazy answered by all the parties involved so before we get into Wait the latest statements, let's remind ourselves how we got here. So back okay. in summer of 2020, basically four years ago to right now, Dr. Disrespect was mysteriously banned on Twitch. Yay. Now this caught a lot of people by surprise because Yay. at the time he was considered the face of Twitch. That's how popular he was. And in his final broadcast before everything became official, he had this stream where he clearly was very distracted by something yeah, going yeah, on yeah. and his yeah. mannerisms and his reactions to some things popping up on his phone during the stream made a lot of people confused oh, and started to guess as to what was going on and what was the real reason behind this ban from Twitch. Okay, I appreciate everyone watching today. It in the backyard. Who is going to be looking? We'll, not, we'll get through. Really, like said, we don't have enough of the... oh, we'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, yeah, I know it's a tough... Because I don't know this one well. Life's weird right now. I... And remember this. This is for uh, from four years ago. Absolute insanity. And I remember this clip, right? A lot of people are also saying he said something with David. I I, I don't want to say that because if that's really the reason why he got banned, which I don't believe. But if that really is, well, you I guess it's gonna be a no brainer, right? I don't want to like say that. But David yeah he talked about david those of you that know you know and some people are believing he got banned for that which i don't believe in but okay that that's also one of the one of the one of those things that people are not talking about oh, oh my god well, I did, I did, I did. we'll get through this okay and uh hey christopher yeah dun, dun, dun. you better not taunt me oh, there you <laughs> Fuck. You so shortly after that stream, it would become official and Twitch would ban Dr. Disrespect yeah, from yeah, their yeah, platform. Yeah. Right about after. a year later in 2021, he announced that he was suing Twitch for the reason mm. behind his ban and he wanted to collect on the loss of income that resulted from the termination of his contract with Twitch. Where about a year after that, in 2022, he would announce that he was moving on from this matter and he resolved any legal dispute with Twitch and importantly here says, no party admits to any wrongdoing. And this phrase oh, will be important for later in this video. And since then, Dr. Disrespect has been streaming on YouTube and a lot of the questions- So this is the reason why he's keep on saying no wrongdoing and all that, right? Because I was also kind of confused. A lot of people were. Uh, and, and yeah, he, okay. So he did sue Twitch, won, uh, he won the lawsuit, got the money, right? And then both parties said no wrongdoing happened. So Twitch is like, okay, now we didn't do anything bad. Dr. Disrespect said we didn't do anything bad. That's kind of like my understanding of it. So this is why he keeps on saying that. Uh, but then this happens, wait for it. Surrounding his ban on Twitch have remained somewhat silent until yesterday when this viral set of allegations came out yeah, from a former uh -oh. Twitch employee named Cody Connors who stated this. He got banned because got caught sexting a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed, gang. Crazy, no one man. made the wrong decision. Dude, this is insane, right? I want to know the truth. I want to know the truth. But the sad reality is that we're in 2024, guys. I know 20. Yeah, it'll be like that. Yo, thank you for subscribing. See, the homie knows. He confirms it, that we are in the year 2024. And this is one of those years. This is a decade of deception, everybody. You will believe everything without the evidence. That's the insane part. And it's insane, right? That, that imagine, like, tomorrow the news comes out that dog didn't do it. And this guy was just saying some mumbo jumbo. The fact of the matter here is that the, the fact that the fact of the matter here is that this is the first tweet about this 
that talks about it that doc allegedly did it people are gonna go with this one people are gonna believe this initial response and this one was seen 21 million times oh, shit. doc responded of course i'm making a video a lot of people are talking about it because yeah this is the the, the main thing right now happening in gaming uh, i will play you asman goals clip in a second as well keemstar making tweets after tweets after tweets so yeah it's spreading though like a lot of people are finding out about this even if for example right tomorrow uh, it's confirmed that Doc didn't do it. We have evidence and it's 100% transparent and clear that he didn't do it. I'm talking uh, objectively, objectively speaking, okay, that he didn't do it. People are still gonna run with this one. Let's, so this is really, really, uh, really ruining his reputation already. Which is sad, right? Because what if he didn't do it? And if he did it, then understandable. It's totally justified that it's coming out and we're finding out. Yeah, absolutely. But, but you guys gotta understand that there's no evidence on it, so and F him and his boys. So obviously, if what is true here, if what is being alleged here is true, this is very yeah. serious, okay? Obviously, there it would is. be yeah. a child victim out there. And also, on top of that, Dr. Disrespect is a father. And for years, for four years, this has been going on and no one knew about it. And he was just freely walking around if these allegations are true. And a lot of people are questioning why people like Cody Connors sat on this for four years without reporting yeah. it to the public yeah, yeah, or yeah, to yeah. the police in this matter. Uh, Twitch also does look very, very bad. If this comes out, if this turns out to be true, it does make Twitch look very, very bad because they knew about it they put somebody's life in danger in fact like the entire family of that minor in danger as well and in such a in such a bad situation so yeah it absolutely looks bad on twitch it looks worse on twitch because yeah like holy crap that that some illegal activity was happening and twitch was like nah bro like we need to cover this up we need to look good in the eyes uh you know it, it's gonna be a pr nightmare so yeah it, it looks very very bad on them and on top of that you might have noticed with this this thread there is zero evidence right now mm. there is nothing corroborating Crazy. any of this there's no screenshots Crazy. there's no legal documents there's no police reports it's just saying these allegations and then saying case closed basically <laughs> trust me on this <laughs> yeah. and a lot of people have issue yeah, with that bro. but you've also might have noticed that there is no direct mention of dr disrespect in this original tweet however Either, yeah. we would see jake lucky here confirm holy crap right I, and a lot of people i read your guys comments as well in the first part and i'm reading a lot of people say that doc can sue him I think he is smart with it. After all, I think he really, really is an ex-Twitch guy. This is why it blew up, right? First of all, he's an ex-Twitch guy. Still doesn't give him... Uh, I mean, he's still he still do not provide the evidence, so it doesn't confirm it, right? These are still rumors, and it's absolutely insane that people can come out and just say it, and then it goes viral, and people believe it. But of course, in this case, it's an ex-Twitch guy, so this is why people are putting some credibility on the guy, right? But but see, the, the thing that I'm now realizing live right now is that he didn't mention Dr. Disrespect. So people that are saying Doc can actually sue him, I think he cannot sue him. I think Doc cannot sue him because he purposely, and I think this is intentional, it's very, very intentional. I think this is the reason why he did not say anything uh, about Doc at all. Crazy, crazy. Unless he uh, mentioned Doc in previous tweets, which I didn't see, but... Permit saying a former Twitch employee has come forward and stated the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban being for sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. Crazy. Where then, curiously, Dr. Disrespect on his Twitch account would reply saying this, Twitter. Jake, seriously, I get it, it's a hot topic, but this has been settled, no wrongdoing was acknowledged, Let and they paid this. out the whole contract. Now, a lot of people on Twitter have been eviscerating this statement, basically saying, how hard is it to basically just say, I didn't do this, these are false allegations. Yeah, and, they're and right after this one, I'm not sure if he's gonna show Doc response. Uh, yeah, he's not. Okay. I don't think he is. Uh, so yeah, uh, Doc actually said this. This is his latest response. Listen, I'm obviously tied. And, and apparently there's a lawyer that came out, and I gotta show you Asmund Gold, Keemstar as well, wait for that. But Doc says, uh, listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with the Twitter with twitch but i just need to say what i can say since this is the effing internet i didn't do anything wrong all this has been probed and settled meaning i guess that he didn't do anything wrong and he was investigated probed i guess that's why he says probed he was investigated then settled uh yeah he filed a lawsuit one nothing illegal no wrongdoing and yeah he keeps uh, mentioning the word no wrongdoing which we found out that when he won the lawsuit all the way back in 2022 this is what this was that word the keyword so it says no wrongdoing was found 
and I was paid. Uh, I, I think, yeah, and then Keemstar responds by saying, bro, why won't you say, and I quote, I was not talking to a minor, trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, like what was alleged. A lot of people would say, like, Keemstar, you're just trying to, like, find more drama, drama, drama. But on this one, objectively, Keemstar does have a valid point. Why are you not saying it? People are bringing up the fact, and we even have a lawyer that will come up, will come up, you're gonna see his response. A lawyer is saying that the reason he's not not saying directly is because of the lawsuit because of the legal stuff uh, and, and yeah and apparently the lawyer if I'm not mistaken well, I'm gonna show you the response from what I recall from the memory that the lawyer believes that doc did it oh, shit. Oh, shit. but uh, but let's actually see do uh, a Keemstar response and then I'll play you that okay says we'll that dr. disrespect was whispering to a minor and making plans to meet up with that minor at this Dr. Disrespect story is absolutely infuriating, all right? Uh, an ex-Twitch employee comes out and says that Dr. Disrespect was whispering to a minor and making plans to meet up with that minor at yeah. TwitchCon. And that's why he was banned from Twitch. And then went on to say that he's a piece of shit and his friends are a piece of shit and all that. Dr. Disrespect responds by saying, hey, look, I was found to have done nothing wrong. I did nothing wrong, all right? He comes out with another statement. I did nothing wrong. Yeah. Dr. Disrespect is not responding to the... Yeah, he's not responding to it directly. And that's... Uh, a lot of people are not buying the no, no wrongdoing. A lot of people have a problem when he says no wrongdoing was found in his initial response as well. Yeah, and he says Elden Ring Monday, so he's gonna stream on Monday. I, I guess we're gonna wait for that. Allegation. The allegation is that he whispered and tried to make plans to meet up with a minor at TwitchCon. That is the allegation from the ex-Twitch employee. He's not responding to that. When he's saying, I did nothing wrong, he's referring to the settlement. He did a settlement with Twitch yeah. after suing Twitch, and Twitch countersued him, I believe. And a lot of people are also bringing this up that what if Dr. Disrespect really, and hear me out on this one, okay? That Dr. Disrespect really messaged a minor, but he didn't know at that time and when he found out that it's a minor he just pulled like hey psych uh, I'm gonna I'm pull that psych card I'm a peace out and he peaced out but see he already initiated uh, the the messaging and, and uh, yeah this is why he got banned and then they settled I guess uh, uh, off scene which we don't know what happened they settled behind the scenes he, well, he was paid he was paid uh, and, and all that right but yeah a lot of people are also bringing that point up as well but then this happens roll it choice of wording here saying no wrongdoing was acknowledged was a bit suspicious but i think this is likely the result of his legal advisement like this was probably what his lawyer told him to write and they're very yeah. specific with the way they phrased this based on the description of the lawsuit from back in 2021 slash 2022 yeah, 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 and here yeah, yeah. is a statement from an actual attorney responding to this legal mindset saying this is a legal statement clearly referring to the relationship between the contractual parties dr disrespect and twitch as well as perhaps the minor alleged involved allegedly mm. involved as mm. close to direct confirmation as we're likely going to get from dr disrespect himself Correct. and the fact that he says the confirmation i don't i don't know man it seems like that that lawyer actually believes that he did it oh, shit. Oh, shit. and if you remember the language from that 20 2022 statement about the resolution of the legal dispute the language here is similar to the response from yesterday saying no party admits to any wrongdoing but a lot of people are looking at this situation and in the public opinion the, the court of public opinion on twitter uh he's as good as guilty to a lot of people uh people yeah, saw this crazy. thread and didn't need any more evidence and they have completely and 100 percent convinced themselves that he is guilty of what's being alleged here and we are really living in insane times though like uh, this is nothing to be toyed around with this is serious uh yeah absolutely it is it is already ruining his career and uh reputation as well absolutely but the fact here is that there's no evidence provided and people are believing it a lot of you watching are not believing it uh, but a lot of you watching also are believing it a lot of people uh, are uh, already have formed their opinion on it which is which is just insane like it goes to show you the times that we're living in right now i i would suggest we gotta be in the middle and personally i'm gonna wait for the evidence but here's the thing though are we actually really gonna get the evidence now because it looks like that there was a lawsuit and as uh, doc said that he was probed which means investigated that's how, what it feels like to me right when he says probe so he was investigated and they found nothing illegal 
nothing, no wrongdoing. That's the key word. So I don't know if we're gonna get evidence from it either. And that is a pretty concerning thing. Now, there may be a whole slew of evidence coming through very soon, but right now, maybe, maybe. this is all I, I people are so. working with. Just this statement. There's no any form of evidence that is being attached to this. So uh, a healthy amount of skepticism, I think, is fair. And on top of that, a lot of people are looking at people like Cody Connors and saying, why did you hold on to this info for four years? And people have come that to their too. defense saying, well, they were probably afraid of being sued by yeah, Dr. Disrespect too. for coming out with this in 2020, where a lot of people would counter and say, well, why are you not afraid in 2024? And also, <laughs> are you more- In 2024, I am strong, I am independent. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, this time he didn't say doc right especially in this tweet maybe he said doc in another tweet and that's kind of like the loophole right now to not get sued by doc may allegedly i'm assuming that i don't know man i i all i know is that in america you can get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction okay Bruh. that part i'm aware i'm aware of okay but but, but maybe that that's the workaround hey don't mention the word don't, don't mention his name and say everything you want and of course people know who you're talking about so people are gonna believe it crazy man or worried about your potential liability in court than the safety of children in this situation and in addition to that some people have been claiming that cody connors and other parties involved with twitch wouldn't have been able to share this information back in 2020 because they were working under an nda with the parties involved which yeah, is that not well. true because with most ndas Whoa. and i would believe with twitch for example there is an exception for reporting crimes. You can still report crimes while working under an NDA. Signing an NDA with Twitch doesn't mean you can't report the crimes you're witnessing around you in the company, whether it's involving employees or streamers or what have you. So they uh -huh. would have been able to file a police report back in 2020 when they discovered these allegations. And right now there's no proof that they did. So they've been sitting on this for four years. And a lot of people are questioning what that's all about. But on yeah. top- and, and yeah, the Ackman also, we covered this one now. We have Asmund Gold, check this. Former Twitch employee has come forward and stated the alleged reason for Dr. Disrespect's permanent Twitch ban being for sexting a minor in the previous Twitch Whispers product. So, Dr. Disrespect actually responded to this and he said, Jake, seriously, I get it, this is a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole forward. contract. Now, a lot of people were unhappy about what Doc said and how he responded. Doc yeah. tweeted now. He said, this uh -oh. is, it literally happened one minute ago. Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. Nothing illegal. No wrongdoing was found. And I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. So this is another <laughs> level of complexity that makes me think that Doc might be innocent. Cody said that Doc solicited sex. Soliciting somebody to meet them in real life, knowing that they're underage. There's no way that's not an Omega felony. And I don't think that you can settle a fucking felony like that. That's yeah. crazy to me that Twitch wouldn't say this publicly at all, because like at that point, they're letting him go on another platform. Twitch would have had to say a public- At this point, they should, they need to reveal the truth. They but, but here's the thing though, even if they come out tomorrow and say what is true, is it really gonna be true? Are people actually gonna believe it? Even if it's true, people not gonna believe it though. You know, because we're living in the times of deception. It's like, uh, yeah, right? How many times we have heard that he said, she said, how many times we have this he said, uh, she said situation? How many times people have been accused? Uh, and then it turns out that, yeah, those accusations were false and then the person's life is completely ruined after that. It it's insane, it's insane. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen. Of course, we have that famous cupcake situation with E right so you, there is that as well but the the point is that yeah right like th this is a very very uh sucky situation for doc man okay exactly right because like they're effectively protecting him by knowing that it happened and not saying anything right it's bad to say that they supported the child predator it's a bad look if it's a bad look that means that they prioritize pr over keeping yeah. people safe yeah. that's like way worse and so oh well, yeah, here's the yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. is that Cody, I know Cody, Cody didn't work at the bottom level of Twitch. He was high enough up to be the kind of person oh, that would know what a fucking defamation lawsuit is. There's no way that Cody would have just fucking said this with no reason. Because, like, if Holy. he's saying this for no reason, he is ruining his life. Like, his doc is going to sue this dude. Damn! Okay, so, uh, yeah, Asmund Gold, he streams uh, primarily on Twitch, right? So... I mean, he would know if Co Cody is real or not in, in a way where, like, if he actually worked, worked there or not, and, oh shit, if this is true, then, 
Oh my god, bro. Okay, so the, the plot actually thickens. The plot is thickening for sure. But still, man, gotta need evidence, bro. Like, need evidence, need evidence, man. And completely fucking destroy him. And by the way, he Cody would deserve that. If you're saying something like this about somebody and yeah. you don't know it to be true, you yeah. deserve to have your life destroyed. Because Absolutely. if people believe it, it's gonna destroy their life. So, mm. oh, facts, oh. facts. Do you really facts. think that a, a talent contract for a big company for millions of dollars wouldn't have morality clauses? In fact, even the baseline contract for terms of service of the website has a morality clause. Mm. Morality clauses are if you do something really bad that makes the company look bad, they can get rid of you. And so, like, it's just, that is a great argument. It's that if, why did they pay him out? Why did they pay this guy out? I, I just uh. yeah guys check out this video on the screen this recently just happened and we had one of the dog's friend got that that got caught cheating in call of duty yeah it's just wild like everything is kind of happening all at the same time check out this video on the screen on the if you already seen it then check out the video on the left